Hey, what is going on guys? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you the top 50 free CD tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. The first tweak for this video is called Ripple Board. This tweak will add this ripple effect to the icons of your device, which indicates which apps you have running in the background. You can also use it to show on which apps you have padding notifications. Now, if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here, then you can use round icons. Here you can choose for what you want to use this ripple effect and you can customize this ripple effect right here with the sliders. The next tweak is called See Clean. This tweak allows you to customize your control center. You can remove the background from the toggles and from the sliders right here. Now to do that you need to go to the settings of this tweak. Here you can enable all these settings and you have a respring button right here. You need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. The next tweak is called Better 5 Column Home Screen. This tweak will allow you to add an extra column of icons on your home screen. As you can see right here you now have 5 instead of 4 and it doesn't have anything to configure. All you have to do is install it. You will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. The next tweak is called Glow Badge. This tweak will add these glowing effects to the icons where you have badges. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button. Then you can choose if you want to enable it on your folders. Lower here you can choose the glow color and then here you can choose for what you want to use the glow badge and lower here you can set the strength of the glow. Just enable it right here and set it with the slider right here. Next up is Safari Refresh. This tweak allows you to refresh a page on Safari simply by dragging down the page like this. As you can see now it will refresh that page. The next tweak is called Save Gram. This tweak allows you to save pictures from Instagram. All you have to do is just tap here and then here you can save any picture you want and it will save it on your photo library on the album called Instagram. Next up is Share Widget. This tweak allows you to share on your social media directly from your notification center. Now to enable it you just go to notification center, go to edit, hit the plus right here, hit done and now you have Share Widget you can post directly from your notification center. Next up is Berry C8. This tweak allows you to launch apps directly from your lock screen. All you have to do is just drag the icon down here and it will launch that app. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then here you can choose which apps you want to see on your lock screen. You can have up to 12 apps. Just go to one of them and add any app you like. Next up is Camera Modes. This tweak allows you to enable or disable the camera modes on your camera app. As you can see right now I have just the photo and the video and you can do that simply by going to your settings, go to camera modes and here you can enable it and then here you can choose which of the modes you want to have. You can enable, disable any of them or you can rearrange them. Next up is CC Matters. This tweak will add all these useful matters on your control center. You can see here the percentage of the usage of your CPU your RAM memory and then your free space right here. If you go to the settings of this tweak, here you can choose which matters you want to see. You can also customize them right here. You can change the icon color and the text color. The next tweak is called Tap to Snap. This tweak allows you to take a picture simply by tapping on the screen of your device. The next tweak is called Color Fun 2. This tweak allows you to change the color of the font. As you can see right here I have black fonts. And you can do that by going to your settings. Here you can choose the color of the font and here you can also customize the blur style of your control center. Next up is date and status bar. This is a simple tweak. All it does is that it will add the current date on your status bar. Now to install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description. Next up is a tweak called round dock. What this tweak does is that it will make the corners of your dock rounded as you can see it right here it looks very nice. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. The next tweak is called Simple Switcher. This tweak allows you to customize the app switcher of your iOS 8 device. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak here you can customize the app cards. You can remove the icons. You can also disable the landscape mode and also remove the contact labels. Now up here you have apply settings. You need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. The next tweak for this video it's called Slide to Kill 8 Lite. This tweak allows you to kill all the background running apps simply by pulling down the home card on your app switcher. 
Next up is Space Text. This tweak allows you to add any text you want on the space bar of your keyboard. Now to do that you need to go to your settings, go to Space Text and enter any text you want right here. Then just hit Save and Respring. The next tweak is called Album Shot. This tweak will create an album for each app where you take a screenshot. You can see if I take a screenshot on the calculator app, it will create an album. Here you have calculator and it will place the screenshots from calculator right here in this album. Next up is Better 5 Icon Dock. This tweak allows you to add an extra icon to your dock and now you can have 5 icons instead of 4. To download this tweak you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. Next up is Better 4x4 Folders. This tweak will change the default 3x3 to a 4x4 layout on your folders so you can see more icons on a page on your folders. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. The next tweak is called Close All. This tweak allows you to easily close all the tabs on Safari. All you have to do is just tap and hold the X button of one of them and then it will ask you if you're sure that you want to close them. Click yes right here and as you can see it will close all the tabs. The next tweak for this video it's called Daughter. You can see these blue dots which indicate that you have recently updated an app but this tweak allows you to use these dots any way you want. You can go to your settings and go to Daughter and here you have behavior. You can use these dots to show which apps you have running in the background or you can use them to replace your badges. Next up we have Fuse. This tweak allows you to have your clock and your media controls at the same time on your lock screen. Now normally the media controls will replace the clock up here but this tweak allows you to have them both at the same time. The next tweak is called Grabber App 8. This tweak allows you to replace the camera grabber on your lock screen with any other app you want. You can also add a second grabber here on the left of your lock screen and launch another app from your lock screen. If you go to the settings of this tweak you can enable the camera grabber right here and select any app you want. You can also do the same for the left grabber. Next up is a very useful tweak called Hood Dismiss. What this tweak does is that it allows you to dismiss the volume hood simply by tapping on it as you can see right here. Just tap on it and you will quickly dismiss the volume hood. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Next up is iWidgets. iWidgets allows you to add widgets to the home screen of your device. As you can see all you have to do is just tap and hold on a space on your home screen and it will open iWidgets and you can add these widgets to the home screen of your device. Next up is Lumos. Lumos will add this flashlight button on your lock screen and it allows you to have easy access to your flashlight. You can turn it on or off directly from your lock screen. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, all you have here is an enable button. Then here you have configuration. You can choose between two different styles and you can set the position and the transparency with these sliders right here. The next tweak is called More Predict. This tweak allows you to add more predictive words on your keyboard. As you can see right now I have 5 and normally we'll have just 3. If you go to the settings of this tweak here you can set how many words you want to see on your keyboard and you can also set a different number for the landscape keyboard. Next up is multi delete. This tweak allows you to delete more than one app at a time. All you have to do is just tap on one of the apps then just keep tapping on the apps that you want to delete. Just hit the X button of one of them and then you can delete all of them at the same time. Next up is nested folders. This tweak allows you to create new folders inside of a folder. It's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is just drag the icon on another like you do normally to create a folder and you will create a new folder inside of a folder. The next tweak for this video it's called No Recently Deleted. This tweak will disable the recently deleted photos on your photo library. As you can see when I delete a photo it won't save it under the recently deleted album. The next tweak for this video it's called Untap Music. This tweak will add your music controls to the reachability view of your iOS 8 device. As you can see right here all you have to do is just open the reachability view and you have all the controls there. Now under settings you have an enable button, then you have configuration, here you can set the corner radius of the album art and also you can enable this switch 
to use vibrancy labels. The next tweak is called photo info. What this tweak does is that it will add this info button on your photo so you can tap it and here you will get detailed information about this picture. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. The next tweak for this video is reach weather. This tweak will add the weather of your city on your reachability view. You can see here you will have the clock, the weather of the city, you have the detailed weather and also the forecast for the next three days. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you can customize the name of your city, customize the color, and then lower here you can also enable the clock page, detailed weather view, and also enable the forecast page. Next up is a tweak called record and torch. What this tweak does is that it allows you to turn on or off the flashlight of your device while you're recording a video. As you can see it right here you have this button which you can place anywhere you want on this screen, just drag it anywhere you want. The next week for this video it's called status bar weather A. You can see what it does, it will add the weather of your city on your status bar. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you can set the weather update interval, you can enable the show temperature unit, you can also show the weather icon and you can replace your carrier logo with the weather of your city. Next up is a tweak called Cylinder. Cylinder will add these cool animations to the home screen of your device. When you slide through your pages, you see you have different animations that you can choose when you swipe through your pages on your home screen. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it. Then here you have the effects. You can choose different effects. You have a lot of effects right here. You can also combine two or more effects and get some cool effects on your springboard. The next tweak is called Bigify. This tweak allows you to resize your icons. You can also change their transparency and also rotate them. You can do that by going to your settings. Here you have three sliders where you can change the size, the transparency and also rotate the icons. Lower here you can hide the icon labels, flip the badges and also you can choose if you want to affect the dock or not. Then lower here you have an apply changes button, you need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Next up is power tap. This tweak will add some more options to the power down menu of your iOS 8 device. You can see right now if I go to the power down menu, I can tap on the button right here and it will switch from slide to power off to slide to reboot and then slide to respring and slide to go to the safe mode. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable or disable any of these toggles. You can also rename them right here. Next up is Dark Folder 7. This tweak will customize the look of the icon and also the look of the background of your folders. As you can see now, the background and the icon of the folders are much darker. They look very cool. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. Then you have two buttons. You can enable it for the icon or for the background. Next up we are going to talk about iFile. iFile is also compatible with iOS 8.3. What it does is that it allows you access to all the files of your device. As you can see it right here, just open it. You can search for any file or you can go ahead and explore any of your files. You can download iFile for free from the Big Boss repo. Next up we have a tweak called Switch Spring. This tweak allows you to swipe up on the home card on your app switcher and now it will give you the option to respring, quit all apps or just cancel. You can see if I hit quit all apps right here, it will close all the background running apps. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. The next tweak for this video is called Lithium. This tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator on your status bar. As you can see right here, if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it. Then here you have two different themes you can choose from. If you go here, you can choose each of these themes and then just respring your device and all these changes will take effect. The next tweak of this video is called Blurred. What this tweak does is that it will replace the normal white keyboard of your iOS 8 device with this darker one, which looks very cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak. You can download Blurred for free from the Big Boss repo. 
Next up is the icon Renamer. This tweak allows you to rename any of your apps simply by holding the icon. Just hold one of the icons then just tap on it and now here you can see you can enter any name you want for that icon. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button to require double tap to rename an icon. Next up is status hood 2. This tweak will replace your volume hood with these volume indicators on your status bar. If you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button, then here you have two different styles, then lower here you can change this size, normal and large, and then lower here you have the dismiss delay, you can choose very slow, slow, normal or fast. The next tweak for this video it's called transparent dock. This is a simple tweak, all it does is that it will remove the background from the dock on your device, as you can see it right here, the docked icons don't have a background. It looks very cool, this tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. The next tweak for this video it's called Repower. This tweak will add a few more options to the power down menu of your device. You can see now here you will have a reboot button and also another respring button. Now if you go to settings all you have here for this tweak is a button where you can enable or disable it. Next up is Alkaline. This tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator of your iOS 8 device. If you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button, then here you have the themes. You can choose between three different themes and apply them to your battery indicator. The next tweak is called clear folders. This is a simple tweak, all it does is that it will remove the background from the folders and now you will have just a clear, nice looking folder. It doesn't have any options to configure, you can download it for free. So these are the top 50 free CD tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3, I hope you guys enjoyed them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.